Hello and welcome my dear friends Welcome to another exciting unboxing episode This time it will be an interesting interesting unboxing You will see why in a few seconds So I have here my latest acquisition A beautiful beautiful celluloid pocket pen I believe made by the producer Flaro, the Romanian writing instrument producer. Let me tell you about the price of this pack. Well, I paid for it only 215 lays, which means I paid around 43.47 euros or 50.97 American dollars so this is the pack guys I'm uh, quite excited I don't know how to open it like this well I have some ad addresses on this part and maybe I will remove the label like this Okay, now I think it will be okay with the address removed. This is just the name of the package. Let me remove it as well. Whoa, this doesn't cut as well as I thought. Okay, okay, guys, now this is the pack. And let me see. Okay. Now. Some of these days I will cut myself with uh, the blade. It is quite, quite difficult to, to cut uh, from uh, behind the camera. Let me see. Whoa. Whoa, look at this nice, nice, nice. Uh, of course, I will ruin the box, but it doesn't matter. Let me... Well, guys, I'm so... I'm so excited that sometimes... Okay, let me see. First of all, I have this. Whoa. This is a nice, nice wooden box. Let me place it right here. And let me see, we have some other content. Yes, we have another content. And the box is empty. And yes, guys, this was, look what I'm talking about. This is a simple, simple deep pen with a number eight on this interesting looking nib. It almost looks like a claw. I must confess that this is the first time that I see this type of nib. But, as I told you, I got it at a real, real good, good price. Let me share with you the content of the wooden box. Yes, well, the wooden box contains an interesting fountain pen. And I will get to it in a few seconds. And it has the other, other nibs. Let me show them to you in a close-up. So we have number one nib, number two, a number four, a number five, and a number eight nib. And all of them are in this claw shape. And I... I'm quite excited to use them all. Of course, if you watch my channel, you already saw another 
type of uh, deep pen. Those are deep pens. And the main difference between a fountain pen and a deep pen is the fact that the deep pens have no ink reservoir. Let me see, because one of them had has some inscriptions on it. Yes. If it, I'm not mistaken, this is a Faber-Castell Extras. No. Okay, let me see. Maybe on the other ones, I will uh, see better. Yes, definitely. No, they are Romanian made. And I'm not so sure about the producer. They are definitely Romanian made. Maybe by Fraro or another producer. Definitely we can see E1.25. This is the original price. Let me see on the other ones. On this one, if we know this has no imprints on it, and the last one, the last one, let me see, yes, also this has some imprints on it, and it is STAC3035, 558. And lay, but interesting, no producer's name. And maybe the box is original to this instrument. This is definitely signs of a special ink that they used. No clues on the box about the producer. And maybe it was glued in on a piece of paper here definitely it originally had something glued in here i love the patina of this box you can't replace it with anything in the world try to buy yourself a new one and it will never have the personality of this box so this box has character it has been used it has been treasured and maybe it was used for totally a uh, utilitarian purpose but definitely definitely a nice looking box maybe in one time of its life this was separated by a line it is similar like this one we have we have a little bit of piece missing from this side a piece like this and i think that it also had a thick little piece of wood separating those two parts but it holds easy all all this writing instruments as you can see so they fit perfectly and i think i've done a great deal on them but uh this wasn't enough and look guys a button filler 1930s german missing its uh, fake cap but we have here a beautiful beautiful osmia that be clean printed in here we see osmia on the beautiful ornated clip we see osmia this is hard rubber you can see the patina this is celluloid a wonderful wonderful brown with some shades of caramel quite quite nice as i told you a button filler it doesn't have the ink window and the name is 224 quite quite nice again a hard uh, rubber section and a beautiful beautiful 14 carat osmia number four nib 
a wonderful, wonderful nil. Unfortunately, this is misaligned. You can see that the tips are misaligned, or maybe not. I'm checking to see how flex it is, and look, guys, look how flexible this is. Quite, quite a nice looking fountain pen. Yes, definitely the sack needs replacement. I've, I'm not so sure it was uh, ever opened, but quite, quite, quite a nice piece. And guys, let me tell you, so you probably know, but all of those that you see on my table, they cost me only 44 euros or 51 american dollars so i think i did a okay deal on them guys please stay tuned from to my channel because definitely you will see a special episode where i will use for the first time those interesting writing instruments those deep pens I have to test also the recently bought 100 uh, nibs, the steel nibs made by Flaro. And I'm quite excited to see how they write in comparison with a fountain pen. So the main difference between them is that this is a fountain pen because it originally had an ink sack. So a reserve of ink a reserve tank uh, which allowed it to continue to operate till the ink was gone and with this fence you have to dip them in ink this is a special ink special design for them but uh, you can also use uh, ink design for the fountain pens but of course they have different properties so the ink used for those instruments uh, you can use them with that special ink and this is designed for the flow the ink for the fountain pen so they are a little bit different and i'm quite curious to see how much of a difference is between the classical types of writing instruments that didn't possess the tank and the later models from uh, the early 20th century from the 1900s when they started to produce fans with their own reserve of ink so guys this was my unboxing again stay tuned if you want to see this wonderful osmia model in fact the first osmia model in my collection please stay tuned on my channel and definitely we will have a special part on the episode when uh, we will talk about the history of the osmia producer if i'm not mistaken this is a german producer and uh, this fountain pen seems to be from the 1930s a quite quite nice fountain pen i hope that i will find a replacement cap but judging by the dimensions i think it won't be a problem to find a cap it definitely it has to be of hard rubber i think i simply love love the beautiful patterns of this celluloid so guys thank you for your time i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope that my voice was powerful enough to to make this unboxing interesting again thank you for your time please stay safe in this pandemic if you are new to this channel and you like the content please subscribe to my channel it's uh, the only way you can support my activity for the moment friends thank you for all your kind words i was in a hospital and uh, 
I really felt that uh, you were worried about my health and uh, it really helped me to recover faster and to get back home and restart my small videos. Guys, again, thank you for your time. Thank you for all your kind words and support. We will see each other probably tomorrow with a new and exciting episode. Till then, please take care of yourselves. And God bless you all. Bye-bye.